Welcome to the third video in part two of a series on how to build a selectable latching relay circuit. In the previous video, we discussed how to make a basic latching relay circuit. We did a quick review. Moving forward, in the previous video, we had a normally open button here, we had a normally closed button here, and we would use the normally closed button once we had latched the circuit on. We push the monetary button, release it, the circuit latches, turns our load on, then we could press that normally closed button and unlatch the circuit. Well, we're going to need that same functionality in our larger selectable latching relay circuit. But instead of using buttons, which would be more buttons than we actually want in the finished product, we're going to use transistors. In this case, we're doing low side switching, and normally when you switch on the low side, you'll use an NPN transistor. Or if you happen to use MOSFETs, you'd use an N-channel MOSFET. But we're using NPN transistors. Draw those in in these two slots. With our transistors drawn in, these are NPNs, so we have their collector in the direction of the load, and their emitter pointing toward ground. Same situation here. These two transistors are in a series. And we'll be using this one to latch the circuit on. We'll be using this one to unlatch the latchable relay circuit. This will serve as our master reset. We're going to work with switching on the high side in order to turn on one relay circuit while turning the other two off. Use a different sort of transistor on the high side for that. But this will be the master reset. This will be just the latching through what? Well, momentary buttons. We need to add those momentary buttons, but before we do that, we need to add a current limiting resistor on the base of both of these transistors. In this case, we'll just add in a resistor. A 1K will do. And we'll also need off of this base resistor to a momentary button, and we'll also need a line off of this base resistor to a momentary button. Let's draw those in. We've drawn in the lines to our momentary buttons to control these two transistors and we're going to connect this bottom momentary button the other leg of it to ground connect the other leg of our top momentary button to VCC and what we'll need to add are two resistors we need a pull down resistor here and we need a pull up resistor here and we'll explain it after we've added them to the circuit and these resistors can be 10K. We've added in these extra resistors on the base of our transistors. Now let's do a little bit of thinking and explaining about that. Is that we want this upper latching transistor to behave as though it's a normally open momentary button. Meaning that it's normally not conducting. That we have to trigger it with the, if it's this kind of normally open button, we have to push it down. Well, in this case, we want to ha be able to trigger when this transistor conducts. And we'll do it via this momentary button. When we push this button, VCC will be sent to the base of this transistor, turning it on. When we release the button, VCC will be removed from it. Via this resistor, the base of the transistor will be pulled to ground, effectively switching it off. So this setup forces this top NPN to behave like this momentary button. By pulling its base to ground, it's normally open, not conducting. And then when we push VCC, it triggers the transistor and it starts to conduct. And that's what we we'll use to latch on our latching relay circuit. We'll push the button, it'll latch on the circuit. Then when we move down to this transistor, we have a similar story, but not quite the same, because we're trying to capture a different sort of functionality. We're trying to capture a normally closed functionality, or a normally conducting functionality. Meaning that this is normally like a wire in here. And in order to break that wire, we have to push this button. How does that work? Well, the base of this transistor is pulled up to VCC, meaning that there's VCC sitting at the base of this transistor normally, meaning that it's conducting normally. It's normally closed in this contact. The circuit is made from here to here. That's exactly what we want. We want this to conduct when we're not pushing the button. That's how a normally closed button behaves. Is it's conductive until you push it. Then that disconnects it 
from the circuit or it disconnects a circuit. In this case, we have VCC going to the base of this NPN, making it normally conductive, and when we push the button, we drag the base down to ground, turning the transistor off. Let's run through how this all plays out in this circuit. We have the circuit sitting like this. Just assume this is connected to VCC. We push this normally open button that forces this transistor to conduct. And this one is already conducting. This is in a normally closed configuration. So we push the button. Current, conventional current at least, travels from VCC across the coil, energizing the coil. It runs to ground. But at that same time, it flips these contacts from their normally closed position to their normally open position, in turn creating an alternative path for current to bypass this top transistor and flow to ground. At that point, the circuit's latched on, and it will stay on until we press this button down, effectively dragging the base of this NPM down to ground, disconnecting the conductive path between the collector and the emitter on that bottom transistor. And so we switch it off. And we're going to use this as a master reset. Each latching relay circuit, remember we have to build three of these. And so off of this master reset line we'll have it going to, to an NPN right next to ground on a latching relay circuit. And then we're going to have a line coming off here going to, if this is say this is relay circuit A, this is the momentary button that triggers A or latches it, this is the latch signal, well this is going to be a master reset signal and so we'll need it to go to A as well as B as well as C and they'll each have the same configuration on their low side so that we can press this button and it will disconnect the circuit from ground in turn unlatching them and we'll do and when we push master reset it'll unlatch all of them at one time that's the basic setup of the low side switching for the circuit we're building is that it'll have two NPNs in the positions that you would normally use some push buttons in your basic latching relay circuit but in this top NPN will be configured with this pull down resistor at its base into a normally open functionality. And then this bottom NPM with this 10K pull up resistor is configured in a normally closed configuration. And we'll be using the upper NPN to latch our relay circuits and we'll be using the lower NPN for our master reset functionality. In the next video we'll move on to consider the high side switching. Remember this is low side switching with NPNs. Well, and we need to still figure out, at this point, if we just built this circuit, say that we built this and then two more just like it, what would we be able to do just thinking about it? You'd have a momentary button, a latch button for A, a latch button for B, a latch button for C. And we could push that momentary button, we could push the one for A, A will latch on and stay on. We could push it for B, and B would latch on and stay on. We could push it for C. C would latch on and stay on. And then we could push the master reset and unlatch all of them, turn them all off. Turn off the latching circuit and turn our loads. But we want a little more than that. We want to be able to push one momentary button, latch on A, while at the same time unlatching B and C. And then the similar story, we want to push a momentary button on B and unlatch A and C. And then we want to push a momentary button on C and unlatch A and B. So we still have some work to do, and we're take care of that mutual exclusivity of push one button, latch a circuit on, unlatch two others. We do that with high side switching on VCC. And that's in the next video. Until next time.